Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the third part of this tutorial series on creating a website from scratch, uh, going from Photoshop to Notepad to a website. And today I'm just going to do a few things to the website. I don't have a big uh, lineup of stuff I'm going to do today. And I have a decent reason for that, I believe. I ordered a microphone, a new microphone today, and I'm really excited to get it because it's just going to bring the quality of my videos up quite a bit and I'm I'm excited it's supposed to be here tomorrow I don't know how they're going to get it here in a day I paid five extra dollars for that though so <laughs> we'll see it should be here tomorrow and uh, yeah I'm excited it's a blue yeti obviously I mean that's pretty much the only choice for this kind of stuff if you don't want to go uh, you know four hundred dollars or so and so yeah look forward to that it's going to make my videos a lot better than they are now so today what we're going to do is just uh, set up the features, the feature columns, and the icons, and I believe that's it because I want to save some of my videos for whenever I uh, get the microphone because again, it's going to be a lot, lot better. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started on this. What we're going to do is set up, uh, set up the columns that we drew out in Photoshop and set up the icons, and that should be about it. So in Notepad, let me get rid of that right there. This is where we left off yesterday. Well, not yesterday. I missed a video yesterday. Just could not get around to it. But today, or the day before yesterday, is uh, this is where we left off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set up the markup for the columns. And what we're going to do is wrap our columns inside of a section tag. Because this is going to be the featured section the feature the features section and we'll give the class of feature and then we're going to and oh, not the div the section and inside the section going to have a div for the class of grid four it's because they're going to have four columns four goes into 16 four times then I'm going to set up the uh, grid four with an image. This image is going to be our icon, and it is uh, in our images folder slash icon dash one dot png. Below that, I'm going to have an anchor tag, and that's going to be the title and the link to the feature page. You know, if there was one, if this was a real website. I'm just going to give it a uh, demo link for now. And it's going to say something like whatever our said in Photoshop. Like uh, own your web or I don't know what it's, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. So that's that. And below that, let's go ahead and break that on with a line break. And below that we're going to say uh, you can know your very own web. Seriously. <laughs> something like that. So if I control S and I come into the browser here, if I'd refresh, that's what we get. And that's not what we want. So now we go into our CSS and we're going to uh, fix it, make it what we want. The first thing we want to do is define feature. Features. Features? Feature. Features. 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 And I'm going to say margin on the top, um, about 70 pixels or so. Control S, and if you come in here now, it notice it's not going to do anything because we have to uh, clear these floats that we have on these. And with this framework we're using, it offers a different, a couple different choices. At the bottom here, we have just the normal clear, and we have the clear fix. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the clear or the just the clear. And the way we use that is it may not be uh, the most proper way of doing this because it just adds in some uh, empty code pretty much. But it works and people are using it all over the place. So it's not like it's, you know, bad. It's just not it's not a hack. It's just not uh, the proper way to do things. So you'll see that that added the space that we needed there. 
And the reason that works is because with these floating, they pretty much take up zero space now. And what we have to do is put a div below that that does not allow anything to float on the left side or the right side. If we do that, then it has to go below it because it can't float on the left or the right. So it can actually apply uh, margins, margins and things to it, and it will have something to push off of because this is actually taking up space and this is not. So yeah, that's a short explanation for that. And it worked, so it's fine. Next, we're going to come into our CSS and say features image and float that image to the left. Show less F5. And there we go. That works. Yeah, a little bit of a margin to the right if we wanted to, or that margin to the right, just like uh, three pixels or something. Just a little bit. And then come to uh, our CSS again here, and I'm going to say uh, features anchor tag. I want to style the link and give it the color of 777. Text decoration is none. Control S, F5. There we go. And we're going to uh, make the text bold. So in CSS, we say font weight. Then we define a weight in a numerical value. You can use bold, you can use stuff like that, but we're just going to use a numerical value so that works. And that is what we want pretty much. Looks like I want to come up here and say color, uh, give it uh, 4B, 4B, 4B. That's a nice dark gray. I like that. Looks like I should reverse these, leave it kind of backwards. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Okay. And now, what I can do is come into the index, take the uh, div here, control copy, or control C, it's not a copy button, and paste it in. There we go. Now if I hit Control S, F5 to refresh, boom, that's exactly what we wanted. And I come in here and change the icons up because I have them just numbered, just like that. And you'll notice these icons are not cropped well because I failed and they're different sizes. So we're probably not going to do that. <laughs> that was my fault. Because this one's taller and uh, just pushes it down too far and I don't like it I mean it, it can work it's not like it's going to mess up the structure or anything because it's all going to take up the same amount of space eventually but uh, just for this tutorial I'm just going to leave it like it is so there we have it we have the four columns the feature uh, the features we're going to list here or whatever it is, uh, have our, our, our blah blah blah. We have our icons floated to the left. Now, if you wanted, you could set these as a background image and uh, push them to the top left, and then just have a padding to the left and push it off of that so you, you, know, you don't have the images there. Whatever you want to do, I don't really have an opinion on that, to be honest. So I should have the microphone in tomorrow, and if I do, I am going to be making some videos. I may make a, a video, I may make three videos, I don't really know, because I'm going to be uh, you know, playing around with it and testing it out and stuff like that. So look forward to that, and I will see you tomorrow.